Welcome to this video showing Edgecam's automatic programming for a lathe with live tooling. We'll begin with Edgecam's launcher. This is where you'll bring the solid model in. Notice Edgecam automatically detects where the datum should be located. However, if you would like to manipulate this, it's very easy by a simple button click. Because we want to set this up as realistic as possible for the machine, we're going to add stock to this part. Very easily we can give diameters, we can give lengths, etc. The next thing we need to do is tell Edgecam what machine we're going to run this part on. This is also called the post processor. For simulation purposes and verification purposes later, you'll notice that the machine graphics have been included so we can collision detect later on. Now let's get into the solid model. We're going to allow Edgecam to look for all the machinable features of this part. Also, because we have a pocket on an angle, we're going to automatically select that pocket. So Edgecam can automatically program that pocket as well. We're ready for machining. The first thing we want to do is pick the planning tab. This allows Edgecam to pick the most logical machining process. Now you can manipulate this and move the order. The next thing we're going to do is hit the apply button. This is Edgecam's automatic programming. It's looking at the plan that we put in place, selects the appropriate tools, and the appropriate cycle or operation that we want to make on this part. So Edgecam is automatically programming this part for me. Once Edgecam has completed the toolpath, we'll then take it over into the simulation for verification, make sure the part is cut the way we'd like, and make sure there's no collisions with the tool to the spindle, to the part, and so forth.
Once verification is finished, we'll go back and at this point we can pick the proper code for your machine. Thank you for watching this brief video on EdgeCam's automatic programming on a lathe with live tooling.